We're here with Victoria Wolf of the Gluten-Free Explorer, and she's gonna share with us how to make dairy-free ranch dressing that goes on this incredible pizza. Oh my gosh, Victoria, do you know how long it's been since I've eaten pizza? How long? Uh, I think it was like 2008. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's almost as long as I've been gluten and, and dairy-free. Yes. And um, we started a company a couple years ago be, for just that reason, because there was no good gluten-free options that myself or my husband wanted to eat. I know. And pizza, you, pizza, you just can't it's live like without staple. pizza. It's like a staple. It is. It's a, I don't expect people to eat it every day, but it's a right. treat and you want to be able to have it. And everybody else around you is eating pizza. Why can't you eat pizza? It's so lonely to watch everybody <laughs> else eating oh. pizza during movie night. Yeah, you have no idea yeah. how many times I've sat and watched people eat food that I can never eat ever right. again. And they sit there and go, oh my God, I don't know how I could ever live without this. And I'm like, hello, yeah. <laughs> right there with you. So All right. we're gonna do, um, because dairy-free nowadays is more difficult, I feel, than gluten-free, especially going out to restaurants and even yes. cooking at home. Because there's some things that, that I love that I can't live without. And they're usually cream-based, you know, cream creamy dressings, like blue yes. cheese ranch. Oh, I miss those. And so I discovered a way to make a dairy-free ranch that tastes, in my opinion, better than regular ranch. And there's, a, there's, a, secret, there's a secret weapon or ingredient. Uh -huh. And what that is, is we start with a, um, this is the cashew milk. And you can do cashew uh -huh. soy or rice milk or almond milk, whatever you want. And we add some vinegar to it. And we okay. let it sit for about 10 minutes. And what that does is it kind of, I won't say curdles it because that's that's not a good word. And, but changes and, the texture. Yeah, it kind of makes a buttermilk out of it because that's oh, what ranch okay. dressing is made out of is buttermilk. Yeah. And so it gives it some tang and it gives, some, gets it some acidity. So you just, um, I'll just do this one before I let you do it. Okay. This. You just put a half a teaspoon of vinegar Into. in there and you let it sit there for 10 minutes. Okay. But we've got some right there. So we're going to put that in last, but that's, that's your secret ingredient that without it, you're not going to get that tang that you're used to tasting with a, um, with a ranch dressing. That's so easy the, enough. the basis for this is mayonnaise and we have a cup of mayonnaise, which you can put in the bowl now. Here's a spoon there for that. Okay. Um, this is not a low calorie dressing <laughs> whatsoever. Um, my favorite food of all time is mayonnaise, which should have its own food group, but I don't think that's really going to happen in my lifetime. Or chipotle mayonnaise is one yeah. of my favorites. But uh, mayonnaise is a really wonderful base for just about any dairy-free sauce. So to this, we're going to add, and the fresh herbs are key here, and you'll tell when you, when you taste it, it has a very herbaceous um, uh, taste to it. Mm -hmm. You can also do dried, but we're doing fresh. So we have a tablespoon of parsley. You can just toss parsley. that in there. Okay. A tablespoon of chives, chives, and a tablespoon of dill, and then you can start mix. We can mix it up, or we can put them all. Yeah, just mix it a little bit. Okay. It's going to be really kind of thick Super and tight. Thick, yeah. yeah. And then we have a tablespoon, a uh, teaspoon. I'm sorry, of onion powder. Okay. And then garlic powder. And mustard, dried mustard, which is going to give oh. it even more of a tang. Okay, so mix that up really well. And it's really thick right now, but that's what, what's uh, the the cashew milk is going to thin it out and add add some more body to it. I bet this is meditative. I could do this all day. <laughs> if that's what cooking is for me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, at at any time you'd like, you can okay. start pouring that in. Pour it in slowly and whisk at the same time. So okay. pour what you left and. Oh, this is new. I don't think I've done this ever. Yeah, and then once you get it all in there, then you're going to really want to whisk it um, okay. to where you're you're pretty. Pretty vigorously, so you get it. You see, it's a little lumpy right now. Uh -huh. You want to get the lumps out. Okay, so does it change the flavor much if you use different kinds of milks? No, I've um, I started with almond and I've moved to cashew because I just like cashew better now, and mm -hmm. I don't notice a, a, a difference in flavor. I think if you used a rice milk, you would you would find a difference because it's not quite as um, uh, of a full body milk as a as a cashew or uh -huh. almond. And I used to use soy too, and it was fine. So that's it looks. It's starting to already look mm -hmm. like. And then at this point, you would taste it, and if you need um, you you'll need probably a little bit of salt. So there's some salt and there's some pepper. So just put some pinches in there. So yeah, that's probably okay. great. And a little bit of pepper. Okay, oh, and then okay. mix it so up. A lot of pepper. Yeah. I'm not a pepper fan, but you definitely could put as much as you want if you are a pepper fan. I love pepper, especially from yeah. the grinders. Yeah, that's from a grinder, so nice. that was ground. Freshly ground, but only hours ago. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's how easy it was. And what's amazing is I use this with a lot of different mm -hmm. variations. I make a garlic cream sauce. I can Ooh. I make a blue, oh, well, I do a little goat and sheep cheese. Okay. Um, very little, but they make a, a sheep blue cheese, and I make a blue cheese dressing with oh, it. Oh, I've never heard of that. That sounds yeah, amazing. Trader Joe's. So if you like to try it, you okay. can, um, carrots, broccoli, whatever you want, you can try and give me your opinion as to whether it 
tastes like the ranch dressing of your memories. It's been a long time, but I think this is what ranch dressing is supposed to taste like. This is amazing. Thank you. That's what I remember ranch dressing tasting like. And so the pizza here, a little story on that, is um, there's a thing every year in Vegas called the uh, Pizza Expo. And at the Pizza Expo, they have the International Pizza Challenge, where people mm -hmm. from around the world come and make pizza and compete in different categories. And they have a gluten-free division. And so Rich, my husband, and I, we, was, we went to the Pizza Expo to check out the pizza world. And he's like, hey, let's enter. And I'm like, sure, why not? You know? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and so we go and we said, you know what? I'm gluten and dairy free. I'm not going to present a pizza I can't eat. Yes. So I went in there with a gluten and dairy free pizza um, and we won the whole thing. Oh so. my God. So I get to taste an award winning pizza today. Mm -hmm. You've just made my life. It's bacon, chicken, broccoli, ranch with some red onions. Okay. And there's a secret ingredient in there too. I am in, into secret ingredients. <laughs> Are you going to tell us the secret? Yeah, it's nutritional yeast. Mm. I usually like to tell people after they eat it because that sounds very scary, nutritional yeast. Oh, this yeast. is so good. I had to tell the judges not to be scared. They're like, what's this ingredient? I'm like, nutritional yeast. It's yummy. Gosh, it tastes healthy, too. Oh, it is uh, healthy. Well, yeah, it's, it's the broccoli. broccoli. There's broccoli on it. Yeah, it's green. <laughs> yeah. You made pizza healthy. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I tried to. Well, if you ignore the bacon. <laughs> but, you know, in, in my opinion, everything is healthy in moderation. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything should be, you know, no, you can't eat that unless you eat it every day for a month or something. Then that would be bad. Well, it is amazing. I'm so glad you brought this. And thank you so much, Victoria, for sharing your incredible recipe for a dairy-free ranch dressing and your awesome award-winning pizza. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Okay. Oh my God, this is so good.